Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hey, stick around. And if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe and all that YouTuber nonsense that I'm not good at. But to all my returning subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome to Physical Flicks Episode 3. Finally. <laughs> Finally! So yeah, I've gotten a lot of movies since then. Like, we talking about, this was back in November. So like, it's been Christmas, my birthday has passed. Also, there's just been random sales on a lot of things and just random things that I wanted to pick up. Random trips to Best Buy, you know, before they gave up on physical media, you cowards. Ha! So yeah, I'm about to just show y'all a bunch of the Blu-rays and 4Ks that I've unnecessarily spent my money on over the past few months. So if you're ready to get into it, let's get into it! Oh, yeah. Alright, so first off the bat right here, I got Iron Man on 4K, finally. I love Iron Man, this is one of my favorite movies. I got Black Panther Wakanda Forever on 4K Steelbook. This was actually one of those Best Buy purchases before they stopped selling physical media. I was able to grab this for real. Oh, I'm giving y'all my digital code. Oh wait, no I'm not. I got Batman Mask of the Phantasm. I actually hadn't seen this movie until I got it. Hey Carrie! Yeah, I know horror remakes, a lot of fan bases aren't really big on those. You know, they can be really sorry sometimes, I understand. I don't know though. I always dug this movie. I love Chloe Grace Moretz. I love the direction and I just, I feel like it's a dope movie. Also, I haven't seen the original, so that might have something to do with it. Okay, this is relevant. Dune on 4K. If you saw my review of Dune Part 2, you already saw this in the background. This movie is absolutely incredible. I watched it at home when I got it on 4K. I just got it on 4K like a week or two ago to prepare for Dune Part 2. And yeah, this movie is fucking great. And Dune Part 2 is fucking great and i hope it continues to make money and make money and make money to show these studios this is the kind of shit we want to see keep watching doom part 2 if you want great movies keep watching the great movies okay so target a few weeks ago had a big sale on their studio ghibli movies and i think they're still on sale they're only like 14 bucks so i decided to pick up a few so you're gonna see a few more after this one but yeah i got Howl's moving castle which i don't know anything about i've never seen it but I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic. I got Hugo, which I'm, if I'm not mistaken, is a Martin Scorsese film, right? That's what it says on there? Yeah, it's a Martin Scorsese film. And this one, I'll actually go ahead and open up and show you guys because Arrow did an amazing job with this physical release, man. It's got posters, it's got great disc art. Shout out Martin Scorsese. I know I wasn't a humongous fan of your most recent film, but hey man, I'm trying, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Ooh, hey. I got the Iron Giant, which I've only seen like once, but I do remember that it was great. I do remember a lot of great things about this movie. I remember fond memories about this film. I just didn't watch it like that. It didn't come on TV like that, and I never had it on DVD, so that's why I didn't watch it like that, but I am looking forward to a rewatch. Oh, this is pretty cool. I got Jaws on 4K. This is another movie I've only seen like once. Well, okay, here's a story while I open it up. So, I had a film studies class when I was in school. I was in the IB program, and we were taking a film studies course and they played Jaws in the class. Unfortunately, my class didn't know how to shut the fuck up so I couldn't pay attention to the movie. So I decided to just watch the movie at home. I really enjoyed it. I just never really found time to come back to it. So when I saw that Target had this on sale, trust me, I'm, I'm not endorsing Target, okay? Trust me. It comes with this little booklet that tells you stuff about the movie. And as you saw, the little cover is lenticular, which is cool. I like stuff. Leave me alone. It's also got some beautiful disc art too, which, you know, I'm in love with. If it could focus, if it could focus. Maybe if y'all hit that subscribe button and stop fucking around, I'll be able to buy a good camera. I'll just play it. Oh, this was cool. I got Knock at the Cabin. I just watched this like a couple weeks ago and you know what? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. M. Night Shyamalan is usually really hit or miss for me. Like sometimes this stuff is really good. Sometimes it's the happening. We're just here to use the bathroom. And we're just gonna leave. I hope that's okay. Sometimes it's the last airbender, Jesus Christ. Are you the Avatar on? But no, I really enjoyed this. I actually like this more than old. I think I liked it around the same level as much as I like Split, but I haven't seen Split in a long time. So definitely need to rewatch that one. <laughs> Y'all might be like about to take my film nerd card away from me and I'm, I'm about to just fight for my life right here. Listen, I'm young. 
there's a lot of shit I missed out on. There's a lot of shit that when I was young, I used to be like, I don't want to watch that. I don't like that. Knowing damn well, I never seen it before in my life. And one of those things is The Matrix. I've never actually watched The Matrix all the way through. None of them. I've never seen any of the four films at all. So I can't wait to pop that cherry. I can't wait to get some water because I can't freaking breathe. Hit the quad. Hit the quad. Hit the quad. All right, back to the animation. This one is a super classic for me. I guess it's a personal classic, but Monster House. I love this movie and I had it on DVD. So, you know, I watch this shit like every other day. I love Monster House. I actually want to talk about this on the channel. So stay tuned. All right, another Studio Ghibli one, My Neighbor Totoro. I don't know shit about this. I, let's just assume I don't know anything about any Studio Ghibli film, okay? I, I'm, I'm just uneducated, but I'm sure it'll be great. I mean, I don't know. I'm just have to wait and see. Golly, we got another Studio Ghibli one, uh, The Princess Mononoke. I, I always say the, it's just Princess Mononoke. Uh, don't know shit about this either. Sticking with animation, The Road to El Dorado. Yeah, I, another one, another, another, another blast from the past for me, man. I used to watch this shit all the time okay so one thing that i really like to do is i like to find movies that i used to watch when i was a very 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 little kid and i like to get them on blu-ray because even though i'm probably not gonna watch them like that much i just like to have them because it just reminds me of the nostalgia that i have for this stuff and yeah scooby doing the cyber chase i loved this you know I, I don't think i had it on dvd but i think i had it on um on vhs and for all of you that don't know what vhs is why why you gotta make me feel so old man I, yeah, golly why you gotta make me feel so ancient But yeah, I used to watch this all the time. I love this. I watched it recently. It doesn't all the way hold up. You know, like I said, this is for little, little, little kids, like the toddlers damn near. But you know what? There's nothing bad about it. It's pretty humorous every now and again. It is fun to pick at the animation and things like that. It's still a fun movie. It was kind of a nostalgia buy. What do you, what do you expect? Oh yeah, I got a smile on 4K. Yeah, this was one of my favorite movies of last year, man that was last year right that was 2020 oh no this was oh my god this was in 2022 where is the time going i could have sworn smile came out last year well anyway this movie is fantastic and this steel book is fantastic too because that cover comes off and you can't tell me that's not badass you you can't tell me once you see it it's too late you freaking oh oh it's fire it's fire hold on let me take the disc out let me take the disc out bro scary as hell this movie scared the shit out of me dude all right so like i said since my last video where i gave you guys a bit of a collection update christmas has passed and also my birthday has passed and aside from me just buying a bunch of shit for myself clearly i actually did get a few you know birthday gifts from people that are nice and like me and that makes me feel good because you know it just reminds you that other people know that you're breathing and blinking and you know all that good stuff <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. But um, yeah, my best friend, Marcel, he's in the Navy, so I don't really get to see him that much, but he sent me a couple of Blu-rays for my birthday, and one of them is Soul Man. I've never seen this, but he has shown me quite a couple of clips from it, and it seems hilarious, so I can't wait to check this out. I'm sure it's gonna be very fun. And honestly, I can't wait till he comes home so I can watch it with him because he loves Bernie Mac just as much as I do. Last Studio Ghibli one here, Spirited Away. Another one I don't know shit about, but I'm sure it'll be amazing. I mean, y'all talk about this movie like it's one of the best movies of all time. So, okay, another nostalgia trip. This one, I know you guys probably aren't gonna mess with like that. I know the response to this movie wasn't the strongest, but it's one that I really liked as a kid. I never got to have it on DVD or VHS, so anytime they played it on TV, they played it on Cartoon Network a couple times, I was always hype. I was always the first one in front of the TV to watch freaking Surf's Up. This movie's cool. This movie is cool. I got talked to me on 4K. I was kicking myself because I wasn't able to see this in theaters and I saw a lot of people had it on their year end list. So I was like, man, I gotta check this movie out. So I got it on 4K and yes, this movie is scary as hell. It's really good, brilliantly acted. It's beautifully directed. All the words that are used with basically every A24 film that comes out these days. I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on 4K and I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem on 4K. 
4K. I don't love this movie. I don't know why I got this. I think it was just because it was cheap. I think it was like seven bucks. And I was like, you know what? Seven bucks, I mean, I, I guess. But the, the, real, the real prize is that Mutant Mayhem steelbook and a lot of y'all slept on this movie y'all need to check this movie out it's fun as hell the turtles are great the characters are great they're charming they're funny as hell do you feel the heart it, the the film has a nice soul underneath the surface it's a dope movie man just check it and the animation is fantastic it's great all right almost at the end here i got the texas chainsaw massacre on 4k now i'll tell you straight up the thing that made me get this is this freaking cover art like that's what made me get it this freaking slip cover and then you get the original poster from when the movie came out which is just awesome and look at this disc art that's fire too all right this is the other gift that marcel got me for my birthday thank you again man i i, I appreciate you and i love you brother uh he got me a time to kill on blu-ray i don't know nothing about this and i've never seen this so just gonna have to wait and see all right y'all ready for this Transformers! Yeah, I got the Transformers, the movie. I think I saw this before. The whole time I was watching it, I was just like, I feel like this is so familiar. I feel like familiar. I feel like this is so familiar. I'm getting like crazy deja vu. I remembered a lot of the scenes. I remembered a lot of the characters, a lot of the jokes, a lot of the action scenes. So I guess I saw this at some point when I was a kid and I just plain don't remember, but this movie's fun as fuck. It's entertaining as hell. The animation is great. It's, it's fast pace uh this movie is fucking fun i've already watched it twice since i've had it and i'm probably gonna watch it a lot more times after this got a little bit more m night Shyamalan with unbreakable i've never seen this movie before I, the only one out of this trilogy i've seen is split but i hear this is the other good one i heard glass wasn't great y'all let me know how you let me know what you thought about Glass. I haven't seen Glass, so. This one was one for me. So The Wolf of Wall Street is one of my favorite movies of all time. At a point, it was my favorite movie of all time. And I always wanted to have a different version of the movie than the one I have because I just have the regular Blu-ray and I, I love that regular Blu-ray. I've gotten a lot of plays out of that regular Blu-ray, but it's just like, for one of my favorite movies of all time, I feel like I need more. And I could have just got the 4K, but when I saw this steelbook on Amazon, Amazon. Oh no, my bad. It wasn't on Amazon. My fault. It was on Target that I saw this and it just looked gorgeous to me. And I was just like, man, I want that. So I decided to get it, man. I got the Wolf of Wall Street, the Blu-ray steelbook. This is not the 4K steelbook, which I also want, but I'm cool with this. I got the Woman King on 4K and this is another one I just missed in theaters. I just didn't have time to watch it. I just wasn't able to make the time to check it out. I heard it was great. So can't wait to check it out. And last but not least, another one with Timothy Chalamet in it because I guess this is just his time now. I guess he's about to just take over the world, but should he not? The dude's an amazing actor. I mean, Wonka? This movie was fucking great. When they dropped the trailer for this movie, I immediately knew that this was gonna be great. I was so excited because they don't make movies like this anymore. They don't make just goofy family movies that are really inventive. They have a big budget and they have a lot of effort put in. They're beautiful. They nail that really like family type of vibe. Movies that just make you feel good, you know? Like movies that just put a really big smile on your face and just put you in a a good mood man it's just a great experience to watch this kind of stuff I like, I hope this is the start of these kind of movies coming back I I love this man I can see myself watching this all the time year round man especially around Christmas time oh yeah that's it you are all caught up now so any physical movies I get after this I'll try to keep you guys updated. But hey, if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you want to see more of me, hit that subscribe button. If you got any suggestions on what I could do to make my videos any better, put them in the comment section, brother. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.